I wonder if he's good at crossword puzzles. That's not a joke, I'm just curious. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Brainstorm. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, as usual, we have Brainstorm. Oh, and mid decapitation. And we have Autobot Tesla and Brainstorm. That same piece of artwork on the side. On the back of the box, we have your old obligatory product shots and you have your bio if you want to read it in multiple languages hooray for languages and that's basically it for the packaging also included is the collector's card with that same piece of artwork and the tech specs for both brainstorm and tesla hooray for cards so moving right along if we can get the camera straightened out you there we go. Here we have a brainstorm, which is a recolor remold of a blur. So if you like the blur mold, you're gonna like this figure because it is, it's the same toy. So <laughs> let's just get in close here so we can see the details. We got the dual guns right up front with some nice molding to them. And going down the nose cone section here. And down the body of the jet, you can see the molded detailing going on there. Nice trans clearance cockpit section right there. And the wings, which have some nice molding to them. Autobot symbol right there. And the tail fin. Again, with some nice molding in there. And the back. And the bottom. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> he does have three rolling wheels on the bottom, so he can roll. As rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. Rolling is good. Hooray for things that roll. So there you go. Um, there is a little bit of articulation in the wings. You can angle them up, angle them down. Do whatever you want. Hey, your toy. Display it however you wish. Can't do that. Um, that's pretty much it. So, for comparison, here he is with the Fence Projects. Not Brainstorm. So you can see how they look together. So you have him with his third party self. And here he is with the Generations Voyager Brainstorm. You can see how they look together. So there you have that. And here he is with Blur. So you can see what they remolded here. Obviously, the nose section is remolded. Uh, these sections right here are remolded. These sections right here are remolded. And obviously, they have this section remolded as well. So you kind of see everything they did here. And obviously, the colors are different. So there you go. Now, he does include some accessories. He does include his gun, which is just Blur's gun, which I'm frankly starting to get tired of seeing. But hey, it's Blur's gun. So there you go. And you also get the Headmaster Tesla right here. So we're getting close here so we can take a look at this guy. They actually painted his face, which makes me happy. And some nice molding in there. And the upside down face on his back. <laughs> and articulation wise, as usual, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly. The shoulders are on a ball joint and they can move outward that far. They can go up only uh, about that far. And the hips can move forward, move back a little bit, and the knees can swing both ways. Full transformation. There you go. Now here he is with Blur's Titan Master, and you can see they are the exact same mold, just in different colors with a different upside down face on their back. But the same Titan Master. And here he is with Fans Project's version. Right there which I think this is the best version. So there you have that. There he is with the Voyager class Generations version. Let's see how they look together. And here he is with a G1 Headmaster. Now, of course, you do have quite a few options as to what you want to do with Tesla. Um, you can just have him riding inside the jet. 
just open up the cockpit there and you can see all the nice molded detailing in there and you just get him into a, a seating position a sitting position and just close that up and there you go you can fly the jets or if you want you can undo these side sections here so you can then undo this section and remove this make sure that stays up and then just kind of close all this back up like that and you can just take this clip out this little landing skid here turn this around and you can take Teslor and plug him in there and then take the gun and plug it in like that and you have a weapon placement right there that you can plug into any of the other bases any of the other weapons I mean any of the other uh, vehicles rather and I always push this down without wanting to and you can take this if you want and just plug it into the side here like that and have that going on a little sidecar action if you want looks kind of weird but hey it's a thing you can do why not dare I say why not so there you go so you can do that if you want just kind of leave all this attached as is with the gun pegged underneath for storage again another option so there you go so let's just get right down to transformation shall we let's so uh, same transformation as blur as you could probably guess i uh, just want to unpeg the arms and just bring them up and out and again, I always push this in without wanting to. <laughs> uh, just leave this open. Leave it open! There we go. And you come down here to the legs. Open up these panels here. Flip the legs down. Then you want to split the legs. You want to take this tail fin here and swing that in. Close the leg up. Bring the foot down. And there you go. Close it up. Bring the foot down. And you're good to go. Now you can bring the seat up, and now we can bring this in like that. So we got the lower body all done. And then you just take this whole nose cone section and you just bring it down against his back. And then you just take his shoulders and just clip them into place. Swing the arms down. And then take this panel right here, just untab it, bring it back. On tub, I'm bring back. Get everything straightened out, and of course now he needs a head. So we just bring in Tesla, and we just fold him in half, plug him on, and there we have Brainstorm in his robot mode, and he looks very much like Blur. <laughs> so there you go. But still, nice figure. I mean, the blur mold was my favorite mold of uh, of that wave. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you like the blur mold, you're gonna like this one. And it's very nicely done. So let's get close here on his noggin. I gotta bring the camera back up here. There we go. There's the noggin. Very nicely done. Head sculpt with the orange mouth plate. His eyes are painted blue, but they're very like sunken into his head there, so you can barely see it. But the eyes are painted blue. And you got this nice painted detail here on the wings, which looks very nice. And you can see the new parts going on there. Autobot symbol right there. Which Blur should have had. <laughs> but there you go. And going down the body here, you can see the molded detail. And again, some nice painted detail on the legs with the silver and red and black. It looks very nice. And going up the book. Again, he has a very big backpack if you choose to leave the, uh, the nose cone attached. And there you go. Um, Articulation-wise, the head is on the ball joint, so you get some wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. You can look up a little bit, you can look down a little bit. The arms can do a full 360, they can go in and out only that far before he hits himself in the head with his own shoulder. You do have a bicep swivel, you do have 90 degrees off bend out to the elbow. You got a wrist swivel, which is very tight on mine. You have a waist swivel. Legs can go forward, that far, go back. Move that out of the way, can go back that far outward. You can pretty much do the full splits. Thigh swivel, 
over 90 degrees of bend out of the knee, and you can wiggle his toes up if you want. That serves any purpose for you. And of course, the wings are on the hinge. You can have these angles however you want. You can bring them all the way back if you want. Totally up to you. As always, your toy. Display it however you wish. So there you go. And of course, you can't hold this gun. So you can just unpeg it here. And pop that into his hand. Oh, or we can drop it. Hey, that's, that's an option too. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> so there you have that. And the other thing you can do is you can also take the nose cone section off if you want. And you can take this and plug this onto it onto either form. He has ports on both forms. And you can plug this onto his form as a big shield cannon weapon thing. Hey, it's a thing you can do. Why not? Dare I say why not? It's it's a thing. It's it's a thing. So there you go now for comparison. Here he is with the fans project, not brainstorm. So you can see how they look together. Here he is with the Voyager Generations brainstorm. You can see how they look together. And here he is with Blur. So you can see just how much they remolded of this figure. Obviously a different head. Um, they remolded the upper part of the arm and everything else is basically the same. So <laughs> there you go. Obviously again the nose cone section is different um, and these back panels are different. But um, yeah, other than that, yeah, not much else. Pretty much, pretty much the same figure. So there you go. So yeah, there you have uh, Brainstorm. It's funny because I had a lot of people, you know, in comments and on Twitter saying, oh, you gotta, you gotta review Brainstorm. He's so awesome. He's so cool. And I'm just like, yeah, I know. It's Blur. <laughs> there's, there's not much new to talk about with this figure. I mean, it's, it's, it's Blur. It's the Blur mold. Um, doesn't do anything all that different, but you know, like I said, if you like the blur mold, you're gonna like this figure, and I like the blur mold, so I like this figure. Um, very nicely done, but uh, yeah, I mean, not much new to talk about. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good figure. Like I said, the blur mold is definitely my my favorite mold of that wave, and uh, yeah, I mean, good figure. Don't mind owning it again. So yeah, there you go. Now he was a Walgreens exclusive. Yes, that's right. Walgreens is getting into the exclusive toy market. Why, I have no idea, but it's a Walgreens exclusive. So you can go to your local Walgreens and pick this guy up. I believe you can pick it up uh, on the website as well, which I'm going to assume is walgreens.com. Um, so you can pick that up there as well. And of course, you can check out bigbadtoystore.com for all other Titans Return figures. You can check them out linked in the description down below. And you can also check out my Titans Return playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Brainstorm, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face! <laughs> Hey, hey, Brainstorm, uh, listen, if you're done time traveling, we have things to do. What? What? Time traveling? What are you, <laughs> what are you talking about time traveling? I don't, I don't time travel. You're, you're silly. You're silly. You're silly as what you are, time travel. I, I, I don't do that, whatever would give you that idea. Um, something's not right here. I can explain that.